Do you know how I can get out of here? <laughs> of course I do. I always use the laundry lift to travel to my Peruvian amber mines. The laundry lift goes all the way to Peru? Of course not, silly. You have to transfer at the continental <laughs> shelf in the Sonoran <laughs> Desert. Uh, I, yeah, never mind. I'm not sure the Sonoran Desert. Well, I don't know where the, the asylum is. <laughs> in fairness, he may be right. <laughs> How's research coming along? Uh, quite satisfactorily. The only things missing are a couple of yep, dino, dino genes, genes for my secret breeding program, if you get my drift. That sounds exciting. How does one breed dinos? Oh, do come on. Everybody knows that. Ah, dinosaurs hatch from occlusions in amber. So I need occlusions in amber. Ha. May I please change the channel? By no means. I need to know how this ends. The fate of mankind depends on it. Uh, of course it does. The dinosaurs will seize world domination. Great. Now you've gone and told me the ending. <laughs> but, to be honest, I already expected as much. It's a good thing I know the customs of the Jurassic. That will prove an advantage <laughs> when our new masters take over. Now, where did I put my fossil prayer stones? You can change the channel. I need to rehearse my future obeisance. Okay, why do I want to change the channel? The only light they're getting comes from the TV set. The artist must have suffered from severe depression. And our search for jokes. What a waste of good, clean dirt. Any new stories from the floral world? Friggledy rum, friggledy rum. What's that? Oh, yeah. I tend to forget that I don't speak plantish. Sure. Tempting. But I'm busy right now. Uh, of course we are. But I don't have the time to watch TV. It seems to like the program. Of course it does. This is exactly on its level. <laughs> Television in general, or this particular uh, show? Come on, jump! So like much for that. my career as a plant tamer. So, can we uh, change this? Welcome to the Stock Exchange News. This is about two things and two things only. Buying and selling. Great. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. I wonder if we can get uh, Fuzzy Wump in here. What was his name, Bruce? This chair is not responsive. It's a TV chair after all. Ah, its brain is probably numb. Hello. Hey, you don't have to hide from me. How can I be sure? You could be a velociraptor ah, in I talked to the wrong person. Uh, never mind. I'll drop by again later. So we need if the world still occlusions. exists, then, is what you mean to say. Yeah. Yes. Give or take ten minutes. There you go. Now, I don't know what to do about the amber occlusions. I suspect we need the phone, though. That was a pretty broad clue. Hello? Hello! Bye! W what's that? Bye? No! Don't buy! Don't buy! Don't buy! What's that? Phew! <laughs> that was close! Hello? Hello! Sell! What's that? Sell! Sell! Sell? No! Still don't sell! 
Don't sell! Don't sell! What's that? <laughs> that was close. At least he has some entertainment value. Hello? Hello! Bye. W what's that? Bye? Bye. Bye? Bye. Bye? Would you recommend selling eventually? Uh-oh. Look, Brucey, it's a boy! What? What? Just a joke. A joke? Oh, no. Not again. The phone call! Hello? <sighs> You're still there? What's that? What? Lost everything? Not again! <sighs> okay. I understand. Alright. Later. Please let this lead to something. <laughs> Didn't you want to make a phone call? Here. You can keep All the phone Alright! That was a lot easier than I thought it. I thought it. Gee gracious. That was a lot easier than I thought. Poor old Brucey. There's one more thing. <laughs> Leave me alone. I have to think about my miserable life. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to try to think. Occlusions in Amber. Alley Man had a ticket. There's somebody in the lift with a ticket. There's King Adrian. I'm not sure. Oh, and of course we have the phone. That's uh, Derp. I think I'm going to take a little break. Um, some of this is kind of tricky. I'm not sure it doesn't have a shape. Well, I'm sure it doesn't. It doesn't have a shape to it yet, to tell you the truth. I don't I think we need to get in the lift to, to do things. And of course, we're out to exonerate her father. Although, I think we have to escape to even begin that process. <laughs> I think we have to get to King Adrian, obviously. Uh, I'm going to take a little break and we'll come back. Um, in the second one, some of the puzzles were a bit difficult and one might even say tedious, so just be aware of that. I mean, if, you know, if it's, if it's, uh, if there's a puzzle that's dragging, I usually let you know up front about when it might be resolved. But it's odd. We haven't run into any of those. There was the dreaded pizza puzzle in the second one. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I have fond memories of finishing that puzzle. Unfortunately, a bad thing has happened. The bad thing that happened was it toted out the sound for about two hours. I'm hoping that the um, microphone was just partially un unplugged. So unfortunately we're moving through a, a part of an area where I actually have a pretty darn good idea of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> now what we've done is we've gotten the uh, phone from, uh, was it Bruce Broker? And we need... We don't have much in the way of a clue, except we know there is a phone here. What was that? Why did it do, Edna? Hey, there's a coin in there! Well, take it. Now, sometimes it does pick up on its own, and sometimes Change. you kind of have to push it. Now, oddly enough, as far as I could tell, that was it there. Through the door, Edna. Work with me here. Okay. Have I got the wrong way? That's the laundry. Ah, B-Man! Okay. Now, I thought we were looking at B... Well, we'll go on and, and you'll find out. <laughs> 
Now, what we have here was the bartender had actually said he couldn't wait on a second customer while he was dealing with the first. But we know Petra is in love with Peter, and she was throwing a party for him. I've got something for you. This will get you back on your feet in no time. I doubt that. And off he goes to his true love, freeing Barkey? us to talk One to the barkeep. Of course, my dear. What will it be? Well. Let's have one walkthrough. One walkthrough, please. Yeah, you would like one of those, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's not on the menu, though. I think that is a first, though. I've never had the. Barkeep, one drink, please. May I have a game walkthrough? Of course, my dear. Before. What will it be? Now, B Man needs coffee. A coffee, please. It's not on the menu. Still kind of cracks me up. There's a bar. Barkeep, one well, drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? I don't know. Maybe he's a loony also. Who knows? A grog, please. We don't serve that anymore. What happened? Funny story. There was this guy who found out the stuff eats through metal. <laughs> he used it to melt the bars of the railings out front. Sounds like he was quite the daring adventurer. Yeah, kind of a nice guy. Of course. He was completely nuts like everybody else in here. Wanted to become a pirate or something. Too bad about him. Why? Did he escape? I'm afraid not. Dr. Marcel broke both his shins. Then he locked him up in his cell where he starved miserably. Oh. Well, not the information you necessarily wanted, but kind of raises everything to a different level. The first, the second game had a, some nasty twists. Well, everything seems to be fine. So, let's continue with the madness here. Barkeep? Marcel, not what a good person. Please? Of course, my dear. What will it be? I think we've moved past evil to just uh, really bad. Did we do glass of water? Probably. He doesn't have it if we didn't. A biggity buggity boo, please. It's not on the menu. Well, you're just Barkeep, no fun. One drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? I think we're down to it. A stinky drink, please. One stinky drink coming up. That's cute. With a little umbrella. But what's that funky smell? Did somebody die suddenly? Shame on you. Why? What did I do? You started to exist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a bit piggy. Strawbert Strawson, what have you done to your neck? <laughs> Good grief, the whole accordion? So it would seem. Uh, evidently, we got along with our stinky drink. A collective stinks. insult to all senses alike. Wow, you don't find that much except in people. Strawbert Strawson looks like a red striped savanna giraffe. Don't you think so too, children? Hooray! Ah, uh, where are the giraffes of Don't Starve? Well, since he gave us the straw. And the drink. I must be crazy. Are you all right? Edna, say something. The natives have surrounded the fort. <laughs> Phew, thank God. Everything back to normal. How is the drink? So so. Well, at least you finished it. Yes, I had to destroy it. Something as diabolical as this stinky drink should not roam free in the world. Besides, I didn't finish it completely. I left the fly. Okay. This fly is already on the other side. 
Ah, poor fly. No reason why you shouldn't talk to the Hello, dead. little friend. How's things on the other side? Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? Not another one. I'd rather go back to my cell voluntarily. <laughs> 